All right, what's up? <clears throat> Excuse me, happy Sunday. Uh, pretty tired, you guys. Not sleepy, but I've been around the world and back today. I've been moving around, doing a bunch of stuff. So this is just a quick video. Um, one of our fellow teammates uh, had sent a comment about how they kind of just left in the past two months from their narcissist. They just went no contact and... Um, how hard it was and it made me think about um to tell you guys like not to be hard on yourselves because it in theory you never really met your opponent your opponent <clears throat> excuse me you know what i mean you never met that narc i mean you met someone that they were portraying themselves as, but you never actually met them. So essentially, you are fighting someone that you cannot see. That's even including the smear campaign that you know is going on, but you can't actually physically hear it. You might hear some of the things come back full circle around to you, but initially as it's going out, you can't hear it. You cannot see it. You cannot see this individual that's stalking you, that's why it's called stalking, right? You know that they're doing it, but you can't physically see them doing it. Just like my ex narc is looking at this video right now, you know, as a coward behind a computer screen and mad, right? Do I see him behind it? No, but do I know he's there? Yes, how? So essentially this video is about you fighting but you're fighting blind. Let's talk about how to be successful at fighting blind, okay? Um, most people will look at blindness as a disability, but what happens when you lose one of your senses? It immediately begins in your body to heighten the other senses to make up for that one sense that you are lacking right so when you cannot see what else do you have taste you can feel and touch right you can hear and never forget your intuition okay so when you're fighting blind um don't don't hate yourself or beat yourself up for the things you you know you couldn't see a lot of people They'll say, um, <clears throat> after narc abuse, well, I didn't know. I couldn't see it. I just didn't know what was happening. You know, I, but they, a lot of people will say, but I felt like this. I felt this way. You know what I'm saying? That was your other senses because you were blinded by something else, right? That you just could not see. Okay, so I'm going to give you guys something really quick that I looked at so that maybe it will inspire you. And I really hope it does. Um, hopefully it's not too boring for you. But even if it is, try to siphon something out of it. Go to YouTube and type in a keto flow. That's A-I-K-I-D-O-F-L-O-F. W and the title of that video from that particular creator is called how to fight when you're blind. Okay. And it goes through how it was, um, <clears throat> training a blind man. And then he himself put on a blindfold and retaught himself how to fight without his eyesight. Right. This is so important to me, you guys, because one of the things that he talked about um, in that video is one of the things that I want to stress to you right now with the narcissist that you're fighting, excuse me, because we all know that they don't just uh, leave us alone, right? So you're, you're fighting an ex-narc, but you're also preparing yourself to defend yourself against future narcissists, right? So... One of the things he was talking about was that you have to listen closely, not just watching. You know, you know what I'm saying? If you're blind, you can't watch, but you can listen closely. And that's something that you have to do, even if you are battling um, an ex-narc. Um, 
if you've cut them off or whatever, that's great. If you haven't, please work on that. Either way, you have to listen closely to the things you hear either about them or via um, social media attacks through what they say. Um, with future people that you deal with, listen closely. Don't pay attention to what you see, whether they're good looking, whether they uh, have a great job, all those physical things. Throw them out the window as if you were blind, okay? Mm -hmm. And listen and open up that intuitive part of yourself so that you can defend yourself against an invisible opponent, okay? Some of the greatest fighters, I'm sure, in this world that may not have made it to fame are probably people that can fight without being able to see. You have to teach yourself to fight blind, okay? Um, aside from that, because I just want to, well, let me just tackle this and then I'll tell you that. Um, one of the other things I want to get to real quick is, um, in fighting blind, he was saying you have to feel where they are. That was such a broad but profound statement to me because you can feel where people are mentally. You can feel where people are emotionally. You can feel where people are verbally. You can feel where people are spiritually. So listen when people talk and listen to their actions. Listen to the actions as if you cannot see them, but listen to them, right? Feel where people are so you can protect yourself, okay? So please look up that video. Side note, this isn't about being blind, but this is one of the major fight scenes in, again, I'm going to reference a movie because I'm just in love with art and cinema and stuff like that. One of the major fights that reminded me of what it's like to fight a narcissist is in Lord of the Rings. I don't know which one of them it was. I kind of feel like it was the first one. If it wasn't the first one, it was the second one. Who gives a fuck? You can, the internet will take you straight to it. You don't have to watch three hours of it, right? But it was when Gandalf fought this demon-esque creature called the Balrog, right? Just type, after you look up Fighting Blind from Aikido Flow, type Gandalf fights the Balrog, right? There's this time where, like, all these people were behind him, you know, the hobbits and things, and they were trying to cross this bridge, and Gandalf is like, you shall not pass, which is something that you end up telling the narcissist. This is my fucking boundary. You can't pass this. I will fight you over this boundary, bitch, right? That's how I feel when I look at that now, when Gandalf says that, and he stands steady on it, he's like, hell no. And when he thinks it's over, like we often do, right? There that bitch is right again with the tail end of its nasty ass tail. And it grabbed him and pulled him down. But he caught the end of this, like, I can't call it a mountain, but the tail end of this broken bridge, right? And he turns to them and he goes, run, you fools. And that's how I feel like I used to be when, before I learned that you don't warn others supply because they just won't believe you. But he tried to tell them, get the fuck out of here while you can, you fucking foolish ass people. That's how I felt about other supplies, right? And then he went on to go down fighting this motherfucker, like to the ends of the earth. And I thought that was so sick as fuck in the best way. Um, it reminded me of how it feels to fight a narc. This demonic creature tried to pull him down with it to the depths of fucking hell. And he was a light working being, you know, like a light worker, a, a light spirit, you know. And he, he warned somebody before he went down, like, look. Get the fuck out of here while you still have a chance. And he fought that shit tooth and nail. And it came back even better than ever. Anyway, um, just touching base on a Sunday with a bunch of random thoughts that I would love to share with you. And I just did. So go look up that Aikido Flow thing. How to fight when you're blind. And then just for fun, look up Gandalf fights the Balrog.
And um, think of what I said when you're looking at it. Things, scenes like that, for some reason, make me cry. I always love to see people fight for what they believe in. Um, you don't get to see that in real life a lot. And I don't care how nerdy it makes me sound, but things like that tend to make me cry. I always cry when I see people risk their actual life to fight for what they believe in. And I'm down for it. Right? Anyway, I love you guys like a whole lot. Okay? It doesn't matter if anyone told you that today. I'm telling you that now. I love you guys a whole lot. And have a happy, happy Sunday. Do something very kind for yourself. Please. That will be amazing. All right.